Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Science World Broadcast with Evangelist Seth Baxter. This is part three of the message entitled Taking, Taking a Closer Look. Ladies and gentlemen, because of space, I just make them a little shorter. This, this is part two of the message Taking a Closer Look, dealing with the 23rd Psalms. Part three of Taking a Closer Look in Jesus' name. Welcome to the Science World Broadcast. Dear God, I pray that this message will be a blessing to your people in Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, this is part three. May your soul be blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep you. Saul jealous against him so much that he end up hating him. In life, be careful. When you start to hate people and jealous against people, it will make you sick to the point that you want to kill. I'm telling you, how oh, you know if you hate somebody, when you see them you get sad, even if you have everything, even if you have more things than them, even if you have everything going your way and you see that person you just get unhappy. So Saul invite David for dinner. Well, At the dinner, he tried to kill him by throwing a dog across the table. But the man of God was able to slip it. David slipped away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Saul said, I was trying to pierce him against the wall, you know. It's crazy. Somebody to eat it, invite you for dinner and try to kill you. In life, be careful. Not everybody is asking for you. He's looking out for your best interests. Not everybody is saying I miss you, truly miss you. And not everybody is investigating about you, is looking out for your best. So when Saul sometimes used to ask for David, it's not because he loved him so much, but because he want to get rid of him. But when you're anointed by God in verse 5 of the 23rd Psalms, it's a foolish thing to trouble anointed and an appointed person. David says, surely, because after the experience of the shadow of death, David could say, surely, ladies and gentlemen, when you say, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us, you must have a testimony of the greatness of God. You must have a testimony about the deliverance power of God. You must have a testimony about the saving power of God. So David says, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Here end the reading and explanation of the 23rd Psalm from Evangelist F. Baxter from the Science Wall Broadcast. This is part two of the message entitled Taking a Closer Look. Taking a Closer Look. Focusing on the 23rd Psalms. Share this message with someone, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want more information on this message, you may check part one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually part three of the message and I go taking a closer look. I have part two, which is 12 minutes and 23 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a short message and I go uh, taking a closer look part two. This is actually part three and title taking a closer look. And if you want more information on the 23rd Psalms, check part one. Uh, Taking a closer look, part one. This is part three, so you could check part one and two, for this is part three. When you travel in the plane at night and you look at the beautiful cities and you wonder who give men knowledge to make all these things. And when you remember Revelation 21 said, God will make a city for all who serve him what a beautiful wonderful thing that will be Hallelujah. ladies and gentlemen when you walk yeah. in the 23rd Psalms when you park in the 23rd Psalms when you when you when you just relax by the river 
yeah and watch the still water <laughs> you have to raise your hand and give god glory praise god think of where the lord has brought you from out Hallelujah. of the valley of the shadow of death yeah when you see that dead king knocking at your door and god almighty said no i'm not gonna let you go mm -mm. some of you can testify that the doctor thought everything was over you was gonna die and your family some of them come to make funeral plans because you were so sick and when you know oh, my friends that god almighty pick you up and lift you up out of the sick bed don't be afraid and don't be ashamed to testify about his goodness when you look how oh, you was in a situation that was so bad and sad that always get your mad and behaving bad and oh the lord work it out uh-huh <laughs> oh the Lord bring you out. Thank you, Jesus. You know that He's worthy be to be praised. Hallelujah. And ladies and gentlemen, if God is so good and kind to us down here in a sinful world, think about the things that He has promised in store for you. The Bible says one day we will have ten thousand times ten thousands of angels coming to giving God glory. Ladies and gentlemen, what a day when this can when this shall be reality. Give God praise. Why do we take a closer look? To see that God is worthy to be praised. Why do we take a closer look? Because there is none like him. Why do we take a closer look? Because God Almighty is everything. He's our bridge over troubled water. He's our strong tower. Yes. He's our way maker. Backlacks. He's our backlacks. Mm -hmm. He's our lily in the valley. He's, He's right this morning. He's our our eternal God. He's a shelter in the time of storm. Yes. He's our rock. In a weary land. And our salvation. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, God Almighty is so strong mm -hmm. and so good and so kind. I, Evangelist Ed Baxter, is telling you to choose God and encouraging you to choose God. And if you choose God, I guarantee you that your future will be bright. If you choose God, I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, that for the rest of your life, you will be blessed in spite of the ups and downs. Because God has something that man can give you. Come on. Tell God us. God has something in store that no woman can give us. Come on. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. God have a promise. Come on. That nobody can take from him. Hallelujah. The Bible said in Revelation 22, verse 14. Jesus. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That they that they might have right, right to the tree of life and enter <laughs> into the gates to the city. Into the, city. Hallelujah. the Lord God placed this word in my heart, in my mind. Hallelujah. And I took this time in the name of Jesus to lift up my hands saying, ladies and gentlemen, whether you're near or far or, or here or abroad, hear ye the word of God. Keep me in your prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, Share this message with someone and know they will be blessed because I have been blessed. Yeah, and I know you will be blessed. This yes. message and tag for the last time, taking a closer look. Part two in Jesus' name with the servant of God, Evangelist and Baxter, and Zion's wild bird, God sharing the word of God with all. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. And in this message, I just want you to take some time to praise him. This is part three of the message entitled Taking a Closer Look. Focusing on the 23rd Psalms. Look where the Lord has brought you from. In spite of what you're going through. Think about how the Lord orchestrate like an engineer. Think about the place that you live today. Oh God, work it out. Some of us have met people that we never knew we would ever meet. And that person helped us to lead us to the job that God has in store. It's a so much story 
oh God, work things out when we couldn't figure it out. I am so happy that we have a testimony today. Oh God brought us out when we could not figure it out. And because he lived, we can face tomorrow. And because he lived, we're going to walk through the valley. When temptation come, we will call upon God. Yes. When hardship come, yes. When hardship come, still come. We'll call upon God. There's but hurt have no sorrow that heaven, that heaven cannot heal. Hallelujah. And remember when Jesus died on the cross, that was the best deal for mankind. For St. John chapter 3 verse 16 said, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, Good over and bless our soul. Hallelujah. And above all, lead us in the path of righteousness. Hallelujah. We thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Science World Broadcast. We want to the same facts as assure this word of God. Each one try to reach one. If you share this message and it reach one, that one could share and it reach another one. Why? This is not for my fame. When I ask people to subscribe, this is not about no money. This is a free word of God. Some people think when you use the word subscribe, you're thinking about money. But we're living in a time when we should come together on earth to spread the word of God. I'm doing my little part, and I'm asking to do your part to share the word of God. I believe that this message will bless you because God has inspired me in my mind to bless to put forth this message. And what God ordained, no man or woman can block. Because the word of God will never return unto him void. Ladies and gentlemen, this is part three of the message entitled Taking a Closer Look. Taking a Closer Look. Part three. Share this message with someone in Jesus' name. Time is running out. This message is after go. This is Evangelist Headbacks. God bless you and keep you.